guys Stephen here and I'm gonna teach you on how to like create your own GUI uh, we're gonna this is gonna be a playlist video so go over the videos in our playlist and this is for actual like beginners I'm gonna explain what it what most of the properties we we're gonna use on when creating our own GUIs on Roblox Studio. So this is all about Roblox um, and we're gonna mostly use some texture, how to add image and stuff like that. So basically creating your own basic UI and having a, a general understanding on what this property do, uh, do or what the other properties are inside the screen GUI like the frames, text button, the image button, how to actually use those. So I, on this video what we're going to tackle is the screen GUI. Screen GUI which is like the main parent when you're calling on that specific GUI that's usually used on code. We're not going to tackle programs and stuff like that but mainly we're going to tackle UIs. So sit back and watch on it and check if you're going to uh, check if you'll find value on the video. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel where we upload daily. And if you have any other questions or if you're looking for a specific video, comment it down below. Or if you need help with anything, comment it down below and we'll help you out. We, we also do help on on creating your own Roblox games, so check it out at ProLemonGames.com. Um, you can chat with us there. So let's start. So we're not going to tackle, uh, just a disclaimer, we're not going to tackle like basic stuff, how to how to go here, how to go there. Um, if you don't have like a general understanding on how to use Roblox Studio, we have a separate separate video of it. Check it down below and you'll be able to see how to use the Roblox Studio. So if you're watching this video, I'm we're assuming that you already know how to uh, figure out where, where are the stuff to click and stuff like that. So let's start on started GUI. So on starter GUI, we're going to tackle on the screen GUI. This is what programmers call when they like need to function or when they need to call something on the UI, like make it appear, make it disappear. Um, there's a code with the inventory, something like that. So this is what happens or this is what it is. And we're going to tackle most of the properties of the screen GUI and what's mostly used in this screen GUI. So let's start. Display order. This needs to be addressed first. This means that if I have two screen GUI and this it would overlap, I need to know which one goes first. So here's a sample. Um, let's add a frame. And then let's add another frame. So let's color this down to green just to make sure that we're on seeing it. So if you notice, the display order of this two screen GUI is zero, which means the the frame of the green frame would be on top because it's the last one that I uh, added on the UI. But this can be changed if you use the display order like if there's an overlapping ui and you don't know which one you've added first it's best to to practice this display order because if i make this higher it would pr prioritize the highest number this could range up to 99 or whatnot how many gui you have on your game so wh whichever is the one which have the higher number would appear first so uh, let's try again we have it one there and if i make it two that should be green that's how the display order works and of course this after that is the enabled this means 
if the screen GUI, GUI would be working or not or if the UI that you have here would be working or not. So if I disable this, of course everything that is below that or everything, every, every children that it has won't work. That means this is just on your workspace, but it's not working. That's just how it is. Enable and disable. As simple as that. And for the screen GUI, let's have this one on enable. We have the ignore GUI in set. If you notice, on my screen, it's appearing on the left side, on the upper left side. And I this is not tick. This means that the Roblox UI or the Roblox default UI would be ha would be on top and this one would go down. Let's play for so we can give you an example. You see, there was no space before, but since we have the Roblox UI and it's a default one, it's going to go down. So to avoid that, especially on, let's say you have a loading screen and you want to cover everything up, you should click the ignore GUI in set. And once I play it, you'd see that it's going to be on the upper left, which is real corner, what you see on your, on your screen. So those three are mostly the stuff that you'll need to understand on the screen GUI or what you need to practice on checking before you actually put children on it. Also, uh, the name is of course screen GUI and the parent would be the star of the GUI. That's just how it is. Um, re reset on spawn is usually used on the codes and stuff so we're not going to tackle that and everything else below. So those three uh, will be using those on our future videos so take note of that so catch you on the next video and if you have that if you find uh if you found value on uh this tutorial please leave a comment below or like 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 the video and subscribe to our channel we do upload daily bye bye